Hey everybody, Rider Too Brief. Okay, <clears throat> so I said I was thinking about going to Red Sea Salt as opposed to Instant Ocean, the regular Instant Ocean, which is what I've always used and it works great. As you can see, I don't have many corals in here. Hey guys. A lot of frog spawn. Star polyps, these are my favorite. I just turned the light on. Duncan coral, they're still kind of small. And my hammer coral is kind of small. The right side died. It was over here, kind of on the bottom. So I think one of the tentacles reached out and stung them. I don't know. I thought it was the water quality, but only the right side died. Anyway, that's that's what's going on with that. So, um, I left this box here because I wanted to show you. I got this off Amazon, and the box, for some reason, when Instant Ocean salt is delivered, I get everything off Amazon. Um, the box is fine. But... I've read, and I know you guys have too, that when you order the Red Sea, the box is damaged. And it is. I've also read that Red Sea, the bucket is smashed, but the salt comes in a container. Let's see if the container is busted, because everybody always gets busted containers. Buckets in great shape. That bitch is heavy. All right, so here's what we got: Red Sea Coral Pro Salt. I I wanted to try this. It's got it's got more of the trace elements in it. Calcium, they say it's 450. Magnesium, 1340. Alkalinity, 4.3. One of you guys, I can't remember. Who it was, they said that there's really not much more in it compared to Instant Ocean. Um, good for LPS, SPS, Red Sea, accelerated coral growth. Yeah, we'll see about that. You know what? Oh, look, a free reef spec carbon crystal clear water guarantee. Whatever. Um, you know what, to be honest, I kind of like the bucket. It's black and purple. I dig that design. That's one reason why I bought it. I'm not going to lie, but... So, hey, your boy. We got salt, huh? We got salt, boy. Yes, we do. There's Jack. Um, so, I don't know. One thing I like about this is they say it dissolves faster in water. Um, with the instant ocean, I'll I'll put it in. I'll show you guys that now. Bucket's in great shape, you know. Hey, you boy. All right, let's go through here. You guys can see Leia. Hi, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes, I know. So she is a German Shepherd, a puppy. She's nine weeks old. She doubled in size and weight in one week. You want to go outside? Come on, let's go. She's already house trained. She goes out there. Now she asks to go out. Let's go out there. Come on, go on. Go play. Go potty. Go get them. Go on, sweetie. There you go. Laundry room. It's still a mess. I've been so busy. Um, got my RODI unit to make my water, it purifies the water, gets the metals out of the water, and all that good stuff. And then it goes into, there's a the purified water, and I was downstairs, so the stopper raised up and stopped it, so that's done. Let's turn the water off. Um, I'm leaving this in the laundry tub when I make water, because sometimes this stupid thing leaks, and it's out of the way. Um, so I have my purified water. I'm going to put the uh, Red Sea Salt in there. I'm going to crack it open so you guys can see it. Here's my Instant Ocean container. 
because when I get um, my regular Instant Ocean, it comes in three or four bags to do 200 gallons worth of water changes. I think the Red Sea is 55 gallons. Okay, so we opened the container. This is the uh, bag that everybody was talking about. This is actually made kind of well, and it didn't crack, but if it does crack or break, um, it's in this bag, so that's kind of nice. This bucket from Instant Ocean, it does 200 gallons. This is 175, not 55. I, I knew that was wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. So 175, so you're getting like 200 gallons of salt water for versus 175 gallons. And this is, uh, I don't know, $15 more? I don't know. Whatever. So I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to just put this bucket in the basement. I'm going to keep this bucket here. I've got my half cup measuring. You're going to put a half a cup of salt for every gallon. There's a pump in there. I'm gonna plug it in. I do not have a heater in there. Don't need it. And I'm gonna add the salt They say this dissolves pretty quick. See, I put it in, I just shake it like this. That's what she said. One. Two. You guys want to see me do all ten? Three. Four. Five. You're not gonna watch this, are you? So I usually let this go for 12 hours before I put it in my tank. But with this, I'll probably wait a few hours and do a water change because it dissolves a lot better, they say, than instant ocean. Anyway, I'll let you guys know what happens. I got more updates coming. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and thank you for subscribing. And let me know again how you like your Red Sea or your Instant Ocean. Later, have a great Father's Day.